we finally made it out of California. You see that little dot up there? That's the moon. It's kind of a sliver of a moon. We had to go to Colton where they uh, load for Walmart. And uh, never been heavy out of there before, but we're a little heavy. Uh, I'm a little overweight on the front tandems, but I can burn that much fuel and then I'll be okay. And I got a lot of a lot of space before I hit another scale, so I'm gonna have to run back this week uh, on a half a tank of fuel, which really stinks. But I've been doing my 90-day. Uh, Read the Bible in 90 days. You say that, I can't do that. I think you can because I'm a slow reader and I think I'm 16 or 17 days in and I am done with the New Testament and uh, I'm in Joshua in the Old Testament. But now I've been reading and I haven't been watching any YouTube or anything when I'm off. When I stop the truck and I take a break, I'm reading. When I'm sitting at the docks, I'm reading. And at home, the last time I was at home, uh, I read three or four hours at a time. And I know not everybody's gonna do that, but I think if you read 30 minutes to an hour a day, you can do that 90 minute challenge. Uh, or 90 day, excuse me, challenge. And I want to challenge you. And if you would try that, uh, let me know in the comments and then uh, tell me your start date. And then uh, as I make other videos, uh, just let me know how you're doing. I don't want to get too boastful because, uh, you know, you can fade out. But uh, I made it through the law. The hardest uh, books for me are, uh, and I, I'm not saying they're bad books, I'm just saying they're harder for me to get through uh, is Leviticus and uh, the end of Exodus, first part of Chronicles, well, all the begot stuff is where I get, uh, get stuck. Uh, and I kind of dread reading it on it but uh, now I'm in Joshua and I'll blaze through those books I love Joshua Judges uh, Ruth and all those and the first and second kings first and second Samuel first and second kings I love those and the chronicles chronicles are really good except for the parts where they're <laughs> uh, begotten or they're counting the, the, they're counting the Israelite people. But I know there's reason for that being in the Bible. But uh, yeah, I blazed right through the uh, New Testament and I did it different than I ever had before. Uh, instead of reading all Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, what I did is I started in the book of Acts. Because I've been through the New Testament several times. so, And I read the book of Acts, then I went back and read Matthew, and then I read Romans, and then I read Luke, and then I read 1 Corinthians, and then I read, uh, I mean, Mark, and then I read... 1 Corinthians, then I read Luke, and then I read 2 Corinthians, then I read John, and then I just went straight through to the end. And uh, it really didn't take that long. I was reading two, or uh, I always one epistle, but when I got through Paul's epistles, I think I read Hebrews in one sitting. And I think that's about the first time I've ever done that. Just, uh, just but boy, you can really get a lot out of a book if you read it all at one sitting. Anyhow, if you want to do that or take that down, you don't have to. Uh, I always encourage everybody to read their Bibles. Everybody reads at different levels and I read at a very low level so I know if I can get through it uh, 
more than likely anybody that's watching this could too. But if you're going to take that challenge, let me know in the comments. Uh, you see that light in the sky? That's the moon. My camera doesn't pick it up very good. But yeah, we just got into Arizona. We're only 60,000 pounds in the box, only halfway loaded. But they loaded the front up with lettuce. And so I'm a little over on my drive tires. The front two up there are called your steers, and then the four behind it on a tractor are called uh, drive tires, and then your tandems are on the back. My tandems are fine, but I've slid the uh, tandems all the way up where the, all the weights to the back as much as I could, and I was still a couple hundred pounds, not too bad over on the uh, drive so I'm gonna have to you know burn meh, a gallon of fuel weighs eight pounds so now I'm too tired to do the math right now anyway I gotta burn probably a quarter of a tank uh, these things hold 200 gallons so a quarter of a tank is about 50 gallons 50 gallons would be what? Uh, 400 pounds, so that should do it. Anyway, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Uh, I, uh, we're gonna we're gonna be back on the 27th. We're supposed to go home on the 29th, so they're probably gonna give us something silly to do halfway back or something but uh and then i get to go to church again i'm looking forward to that but uh if you want to do your little uh 90 day challenge uh, let me know i'd like to see who could do it i know i got some bible readers out there uh, that can blaze through that no problem but uh I don't think I've ever done it in 90 days, but I'm on a good track to do it, so uh, let me know if you want to do that, and uh, we'll hit your start date. And now, I haven't been, like, a lot of people will say, well, how many chapters a day do you have to read? Well, I don't know, because what I do is I just read, uh, like at night, I read until I am get sleepy, and then I go to bed. And, uh... When I'm sitting, I read, and I'm just reading it. I'm not making, saying, I got to get so much through. And even if I didn't make the 90-day deal, uh, it'd be okay. I'm getting through it. But I'm reading. I'm not wasting any time with uh, TV or YouTube or anything like that. I'm just uh, reading my book when I get the time. Anyway, remember to read those books. Even if you don't want to do the 90-day challenge, read something in the Bible every day. It is the living word of our Lord. And uh, pray without ceasing. You guys have a wonderful day. One more look at the moon, and I won't focus on it, I don't think.